There we go. So fucking. Oh yeah, we do this. Stop fucking lying. It's all you do is lie. Jeez. Man, this client is so fucking annoying. Annoying. Full of lies. Like, dude, shut up. Damn. I talk too fucking much. That's why your dad doesn't fucking want you near him. You know, because he talk too fucking much. Damn, you talk too much. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Body strong. And getting a flu shot helps us stay healthy. So we don't miss out on what matters. Like having game night at home. There we go. Yeah. Can't do that while sick with the flu. Now imagine family movie night that your daughter can't live without. Well, that's ruined. And don't forget your uncle's socially distanced cookout. See? That's why it's important to be at our strongest. Every year, millions of people in the U.S. get the flu. Especially now. No one has time to miss out on moments that matter. So get your flu shot. Find out more at getmyfluShot.org. Brought to you by the AMA, CDC, and the Ad Council. If a natural AMA, CDC, and the Ad Council. If a natural disaster comes knocking, how prepared is your family? Oh you can't just close the door on earthquakes, floods, or hurricanes and hope they go away. That's why it's important to make a plan now. Ready.gov slash plan has the tools and tips you need to prepare your family for an emergency. So if disaster shows up at your doorstep, you'll be ready. Visit ready.gov slash plan and make a plan today. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. My husband had a, a gun him and his friends would go shooting. The ammunition, unfortunately, was not stored separately. In a million years, we never thought that Emily could. There's a hole in our family that can never, ever be filled. 63 Americans a day die by gun suicide. With safe gun storage, we can give our loved ones a second chance at life. Learn more at endfamilyfire.org. Brought to you by Brady and the Ad Council. People do some pretty cool things in their 40s and 50s. Why should saving for retirement be any different? I mean, they go back to college, learn new instruments, start skateboarding. Okay, maybe that one's not for everybody, but saving for retirement is. With aceyourretirement.org, you can get on track with your retirement savings no matter your age. Just have a three-minute chat with Avo, the friendly digital retirement coach from AARP. You'll get personalized recommendations based on your input that are easy to understand and work with your lifestyle. It's quick, easy, and free. Plus, it's sponsored by AARP, so you know they got your back. Sally moved, Dad. Thanks, sweetie. So wherever you are in your retirement savings journey, head to aceyourretirement.org and start chatting with Avo today. That's aceyourretirement.org. A message from AARP and the Ad Council. sexualization and indoctrination of kids into radical queer theory today um, and coming up next hour from the Wall Street Journal the truth about puberty blockers it's not what you're hearing 
okay. and mainstream media. But, uh, I, and this is not a coincidence, in fact, you could say in a related story, um, uh, rural Oregon has been talking about this greater Idaho movement where Eastern Oregon wants to join Idaho because they have nothing to do with, or nothing in common with, you know, uh, uh, big population central uh, Oregon, central and kind of western Oregon along the highway there. It's very similar to the, the state of Jefferson movement in California that wants to join rural Oregon or, and chunks of or, Ohio. Or the whole country, remember? When Trump beat Hillary, the vote breakdown was Hillary won by several million votes to the right of I-95 and to the left of I-5 on the two coasts, which is amazing, and Trump won in between. It's that different. Yeah, yeah. So at any rate, uh, there are 15, uh, I believe that's correct, is it 15 or 14? I think it's 14 uh, counties in uh, Oregon that proposed joining this uh, greater Idaho. Uh, Twelve of the 14 have held special elections on the idea, and 12 for 12 have said, yep, we want to join greater Idaho. Two have not yet held their vote yet. Some of the votes have been pretty close, but it's 12 for 12 so far in those counties. But how does Idaho feel about taking on more counties? Uh, I, Idaho, I think, would probably be in favor of it because they would gain enormous amounts of tax revenue and uh, seats in Congress and that sort of thing. But here's the rub, and this has always been the rub, like the state of Jefferson. I was in favor of it, kind of. This is I, I have the sportswear. Is this going to take the fun out of it and end it when you get to the rub? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better, quite a rub. Let a better conjecture first. Yes, um, go ahead. Um, it is kind of interesting. Yeah. Anybody who rubs before conjecturing is wasting their time. <laughs> It's kind of weird that we have the, the, the state boundaries that we have based on rivers and topography from 200 years ago or longer, depending on what's going on. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's so random. And some compromise between a guy with a long beard and a top hat and another guy with enormous sideburns or something that was in 1830. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. But it's also, it's one of the great realities of our time. would have to approve it, and the United States Congress would have to approve this stuff. Well, I gotta believe that there's a reverse situation, too, where a whole bunch of rural counties are supported by the tax revenue of the cities. And all, if you took that away, all of a sudden you'd find yourself with a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble if you ever came to building a road or a dam or anything like that. Yeah, a lot of truth to that, too, in some cases more than others. But yeah, that happens. Uh, but this all leads kind of in a, a, a way to the Electoral College and why it's such a brilliant idea. It's not electrical. As, it, well, there are electrical colleges, but if you intend to go to one and don't go to the other, you will, uh, you will leave completely unsatisfied. <laughs> I know nothing about circuits. <laughs> um, uh, 
And that is that if the Electoral College didn't exist, and this comes up every two years, four years, I guess every, every four time years. a Republican wins the popular vote. Wow, well said. Um, anyway, and the argument's made is anti democratic. Without the Electoral College, and I don't have it in front of me, but all you would have to do is win New York, Washington, D.C., uh, Boston, L.A., San Francisco, and Seattle, something like that. And you'd win the presidency every single time because they're giant population centers. And uh, people who lack wisdom or perhaps historical perspective would say, well, that's democracy. The majority rules. Can you imagine what this country would be like if half a dozen coastal cities elected every president who would pitch policies for coastal cities and ignored the 42 other states? Well, you wouldn't go six months without a civil war. Correct. I mean, for real civil war. You got your gauges, wire, you got your voltages, no much amperage. Oh, all about that. If you miss an hour, the show gets podcast Armstrong and Getty on demand. Armstrong and Getty. 1080 AM, 104.1 FM, KSCO, Santa Cruz, and AM 1340, KOMY, LaSalle Beach. News this hour from townhall.com. I'm Rich Thomas. Big cities in the east experiencing some of the worst air quality ever. Results of smoke from the hundreds of Canadian wildfires. That bad air has some people masking up again. WNEP-TV caught up with commuter Nikki Sanders in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The smoke is kind of like strong, so I didn't want to breathe too much of it in. And I was up this morning without it on, so. And it's you know, kind of like a walk, so. I'm to try to protect myself as much as I can. President Biden approving the transfer of some American firefighting assets north to help the Canadians battle those fires. Tributes have been pouring in for the late Pat Robertson. Word came this morning of the death of the renowned Christian broadcaster at the age of 93. It was back in 2021 that he finally retired from a daily broadcast duties on the CBN Network's flagship program. It has been 60 wonderful years, and at this point... I think it's time for me to make the announcement that I will no longer be the host of the 700 Club. He had a huge impact on American politics and religion, running as president as a Republican in 1988, and from that experience, founded the Christian Coalition. Other ventures include Regent University, the American Center for Law and Justice. The number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits last week rose to its highest level since October 2021. The Labor Department reports U.S. applications for jobless claims are 261,000 for the week ending June 3rd. That's an increase of 28,000 from the previous week. Weekly jobless claims are considered representative of U.S. layoffs. The four-week moving average of claims rose by 7,500 to 237,250. It's correspondent Jeremy House on Wall Street, the Dow up 102 points. More on these stories at Town Hall. Hi everybody, this is Dave Michaels, here to let you know that we're having another sale down at the Dave Cave this week, Monday through Friday from 12 till 6 p.m. This week, when you buy your Tangy Tangerine at regular price, you are going to activate a 30% discount on anything else in the store. Now this means that the Tangy Tangerine is not on sale, but everything else will be once you buy your Tangy Tangerine at regular price. This means huge discounts on the Ultimate Daily Classic for blood pressure, Arthrodex for your pets, the Bone and Joint Pack, the Blood Sugar Pack, the Brain and Heart Pack, the Digestion Pack, and even KSEO Gear. All of those are going to be sold at huge discounts this week once you buy your Tangy Tangerine at regular price. So, if you like saving money, head down to the Dave Cave and be ready to save this week, Monday through Friday from 12 till 6 p.m. The Dave Cave is at 2300 Portola Drive in Santa Cruz. Unfortunately, no credit cards can be taken at this time. 82. Message and data rates may apply. The owner of several New York funeral homes arrested on charges relating to the U.S. Capitol riots. An FBI agent wrote in court papers Peter Maloney appeared to have come to the Capitol prepared for violence with protective eyewear, a helmet, and a can of insecticide. Wasp, hornet, and yellow jacket killer. He 
accused of spraying wasp killer at police officers and attacking journalists, including an AP photographer. The agent says Maloney was seen punching and shoving the photographer before other rioters pushed the photographer over a wall. Brother and funeral home co-owner Dan Maloney says the alleged actions taken by an individual on his own time are in no way reflective of the core values of the business. Ed Donahue, Washington. A man with a knife stabbed four young children in a lakeside park in the French Alps, assaulting at least one in a stroller repeatedly. Suspect identified as a 31-year-old Syrian with refugee status in Sweden. Townhall.com. Two GOP-led House panels held a joint hearing Wednesday to examine election integrity in Washington, D.C., consider a bill that would rewrite election laws in the nation's capital. Republicans in the House Oversight and Administration Committees doubted the American Confidence in Elections Act of Days as legislation that would ensure a safe, accessible, and secure election system in D.C. Democrats and the panels pushed back, saying the bill's aim is to disenfranchise people. The bill would rewrite D.C. election law, despite local officials arguing there have been no issues with the current statute. Republicans cite Congress's constitutional authority to oversee laws and spending in the district, but local officials say members of Congress do not know what is best for D.C. residents. Edwin Mora, Capitol. Workers at the Barnes & Noble on Manhattan's Union Square, it's one of the chain signature stores, they voted to join a union. More on these stories at townhall.com. Hello everybody, this is Dave Michaels with your Longevity product update. This time I want to tell you about Arthronex. Arthronex is the easiest way to make sure that your pet supplements with all the stuff they need, including minerals, vitamins, amino acids, glucosamine, and digestive enzymes. Cats and dogs love it for the flavor because it's made using beef gelatin, and owners love it because they know it's easy to use and doesn't leave a big mess. Arthronex is good for all pets and has no wheat, corn, or soy. It has only 30 calories per serving and has no artificial flavors or preservatives. The best thing, though, about Arthrodex is that it works. As our pets get older, they get achy joints, digestive problems, skin problems. Arthrodex can help them feel better. To get your paws on Arthrodex, log on to kscohealth.com or call 831-218-5726. That's 831-218-KSCO or log on to kscohealth.com. Previously, the only Grimace kin to claim their own shake 
You probably remember this, Michael. It was Uncle Orimison who was a big fan of the Shamrock. I don't remember that. You don't remember Uncle Orimison?